Welcome to the level 2 video on an introduction to complex numbers. Today we're going to be talking about absolute value, argument and conjugate. But we're going to start off by talking about the absolute value. Or modulus. Okay, so what is the absolute value? Well, if z equals a plus bi is a complex number, then the absolute value of z is written as the following the absolute value of a plus bi is the square root of a squared plus b squared and geometrically speaking this is because of the following plot if this is our imaginary axis and this is our real axis and this is our complex number z then this distance here if this is the point A and this is the point B then the modulus of Z is going to be this distance and using Pythagoras' theorem the modulus is going to be A squared plus B squared and then the square root so moving on let's talk about the argument if z is again the complex number a plus bi then the argument arg of z equals equals the angle phi is known to be the argument of Z and geometrically speaking if we look at our real and imaginary axis again this is the real and this is the imaginary and this is our complex number Z again then phi, the argument is this angle in here that the complex number makes with the real axes. Moving on, let's talk about the complex conjugate. Again, if z equals to a plus bi, is a complex number then the complex conjugate of Z is the following it's donated Z bar and it's equal to A minus BI so we just negate the imaginary part here and again geometrically speaking assuming this is our imaginary part and this is our real part if this is again our complex number Z then Z bar would be the reflection down here because if this is the point A and this is the point B then this is the point minus B Finally, now let's talk about realizing the denominator. And I put this in quotation marks because it's commonly referred to as different things. But given the following. complex number
say z equals 1 over 1 plus i we want to make the denominator real because notice the denominator is 1 plus i which is not real and write the number this is the number z in the conventional way i.e. z equals a plus b i where a and b are real. So in order to write this in the conventional way, if we take our complex number z, which is 1 over 1 plus i, and we multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the, de of the denominator, we get 1 multiplied by 1 minus i divided by 1 plus i multiplied by 1 minus i, which gives us 1 minus i over 1 minus i squared which is a half 1 minus i. So in this case a would be a half b would be minus a half. Thanks for listening.